Jesus is King. Welcome to the Meaning of Catholic. I'm Timothy Flanders. And today we are beginning a new book in the Fellowship of St. Anthony. And the Fellowship of St. Anthony is the core of our whole lay apostolate. It is a lay sodality within the apostolate where lay men and lay women take on to ourselves a rule of prayer and fasting in order to offer this up for priests and seminarians. That's what we see as a critical job of the lay people to do for the clergy. We live in an age where we have a lot of bad clergy out there. We also have a shortage of good clergy. The good clergy that are out there are few and far between. They're taxed. They're overworked. They don't have a lot of time. And this is because of the decree of Almighty God. This is the this is this difficult situation for souls is the wrath of God. And we need to be humbled under the almighty hand of God. And thus, by prayer and fasting, offering this up for uh, reparation for our own sins, which we have, which bad clergy, we've deserved these bad clergy, offering reparation for the bad clergy that they may be converted and go to heaven, and also offering it up for good clergy. And this also includes, we also pray for um, the seminarians and the uh, religious discernment, uh, discerning souls who are members of our apostolate so that is the fellowship of saint anthony and we one of the things we do is we do this bible reader so we read through the entire bible every year uh you're not required to do this as a part of the the fellowship but many of us do and this is the bible reader that is liturgical so it's based on the liturgical calendar and uh we've read through two books so far uh, where is the other one here? This is. So then, um, if you join the fellowship, you also get these audio books too. So we've read through, uh, difficulties in mental prayer by Boylan. So this is, this is, I've read this twice. It's a really great text. I've really enjoyed it reading it again. And then, um, into the deep by Dan Berg. We just read through that. And then we're going to start today. This, this text, it's called The Ladder of Monks by Guigo II. The Ladder of Monks by Guigo II is, seems to be the original text. Guigo II, he died in 1180. And this seems to be the original text, which explains Lexio Divina. And this gets to the heart of the fact that it is very sad that some Catholics today still say that reading the Bible is a Protestant thing. It's, it's very sad, and the reason is because, first of all, as I said, we're in a difficult time, and St. Paul says we have the comfort of the Scriptures. We have the comfort of the Scriptures. Moreover, in the Church of the Old Testament, the Church of the Old Testament, it was standard procedure for boys, young men, to memorize the entire Torah and at least large swaths of the Old Testament as well. And this is not for the sake of intellectual study, but for the sake of prayer. In particular, the prayer book of the church, the hymnal of the church, is the Holy Psalter, the 150 Psalms, which are very often attributed to David, but they are the prayers of the Son of God to God the Father. And Guigo too shows us how much the reading of the Holy Scripture is a Catholic thing. Not only a Catholic thing, but I, I would claim that it is the central devotional practice. And here's why. There is the public prayer of the church, the Holy Mass and the Divine Office, which are nothing but a tapestry of scripture being prayed publicly by the clergy and the monks of the church and the nuns. And then you have the private prayer of the church, which is also the Bible. First of all, you have the rosary, one of the most common devotions. But what is the rosary? The rosary is 15 decades meditated on the Bible. 
And then you have Luxio Divina. And Luxio Divina is really the only way to read the Bible. There's no, I, I would claim that there's no such thing as reading the Bible. Like I read like <laughs> my book here talking about all these things, Introduction to the Holy Bible. This is a book. You can read this book. Pick up this book up. You can read it. There's no such thing as doing that with the Bible. If anybody's just reading the Bible, like you read another book, you're misusing the Bible. And this is precisely what the heretics have done to misuse and and just and take the holy flame of God, which is the Bible, and get burned by it instead of allowing it to cleanse us. And so what's so um, what's so important about Guigo too is that he sets forth the doctrine, the 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 the, imp the critically important central doctrine, Catholic doctrine of reading the Bible. How do you read the Bible? It's not reading the Bible. It's Lexio Divina, divine reading. It is a st special kind of reading unlike any other kind of reading. And this indeed is done privately. You're not doing it. Well, I mean, you, it can be done in a group, but it's not a public prayer of the church in the same way. So, if you want to read through this book with us, we require you to chip in. First of all, chip in for the apostolate to help cover our costs. Chip in something, meaningofcatholic.com slash register. But you also need to take on extra penances. And that's where the Fellowship of St. Anthony comes in. So we are trying to find, we're trying to connect with pious and zealous souls internationally to form this international community against the Marxists. We've got about 500 members in our apostolate. And the fellowship is sort of this inner group within the apostolate where we offer this penance. So I want to encourage everybody who's a part of the apostolate to join the fellowship, to offer up these penances, and to work to work on a spiritual life, and, and especially this Bible reading. Um, and if you're not a part of the fellowship or part of the apostolate, you can join the apostolate to join the fellowship. So this is why this video exists is because I'm, we are seeking these pious souls. We want to join with you across state lines, country lines, time zones, so that we can together offer penance and reparation in our time as a lay apostolate. And we can enter into the fire of the Holy Scriptures. And by doing so, we can pass down the faith to our children. We can overcome our vices and, and achieve holiness by the grace of God and the prayers of the Theotokos. So if you want to be a part of it, go to meaningofcatholic.com slash register. Or if you're already in the apostolate, you can contact me if you'd like to be a part of the fellowship. God bless.